And we had our panel redone. Um, code now is uh, that you can't have any Romex going into the panel. It needs to be protected. So it's supposed to come in, you know, into the wall and into the panel or through some sort of conduit or chase. Uh, so what we have to do is put a protector there, um, just a piece of sheet metal. Um, and I didn't want it to look like shit. Uh, so I talked to electricians and they, uh, they'll do it. Um, but it's going to be like 400 bucks. <laughs> so I'm no way I'm going to pay 400 bucks. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to run to the shop and spend an hour and, uh, cut it out of some sheet metal and, Bend it up and put it in place. And one 24 inch by 36 inch sheet of super overpriced galvanized steel from my friends at Home Depot. All right, all laid out and ready to start cutting. I don't have a shear, so I'm gonna use uh, hand slicers. And I got a little extra uh, in case I screw it up because I don't exactly do this every single day. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's get to getting it out. I will use my trusty handy dandy brake. Um, mine's actually fingered brake, and uh, go ahead and bend uh, bend this up. So I pulled the teeth out in order to do that last bend, but um, the gap here, I need it to be three and a quarter inches, and or three and three quarter inches, and it's only three and a quarter, and so I don't have enough gap here. So I'm gonna have to do it uh, kind of the garage way. Let's let's look at that. It's it's this final bend over on the that lip. Um, and, uh, that, that's what won't fit under. And then this is the three and three quarter instead of the three and a quarter. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, kind of a garage sheet metal trick and use my homemade two before break and, uh, my rubber bender here. All right. And so this is how that looks. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. I'm going to clean up some of these edges and file the sharp and then get it primed and painted. Cleaned with a little bit of naphtha and I'm gonna put two coats of primer on it and a coat or two of, uh, of white satin and uh, yeah, let it just disappear. Right. Primer on. Ooh wee, first coat of white. I think I'm gonna step out of the garage uh, before I can't walk anymore. Um, I may need a paint booth. <laughs> Shit. My wife's home. I'm spray painting in the garage again. There's gonna be hell to pay. Damn it. Well, that uh, that marker bled through. That's two coats of primer and two coats of paint, and I got red, red marker bleeding through everywhere. And in truth, it's in the basement. Nobody will ever see it, but I know. I know. So I gotta fix that. Uh. Yeah, I should have used, should have scrubbed when I uh, when I used the naphtha um, to get all that off, and I didn't. That's on me. All right, another coat and installed. So completely blocking any access to that Romex. Pretty happy with that. Somebody's gonna ask me about why I bent this X in. Um, it's for structure. So that if it were flat, it'd be easy to press in and it would be concaved here. Um, with the X, it, it makes it so you can't press in. It adds rigidity to the panel. It's something that you would do like in um, a, a plenum, a duct uh, in an attic or, or basement, that sort of thing. And uh, they used to do it in all the ducts, like in your entire run of duct, they would they would bend this in the in the flat sheets. Um, they now use like an insulated accordion flexi duct in attics mostly instead of the the rigid metal. And so most most folks don't do this anymore. But yeah, this is this is how it should be done. 
as this is YouTube, I guarantee that there's going to be somebody in my comments that said, you know, oh, you should have done it this way or you should have done it that way. Um, I'm going to say, although I am Matt of many trades, I am not a professional sheet metal installer. Um, the skills that I do have um, have just kind of come along with life. The fact that I have um, a fingered break. I, I mean, not everybody has one of those in their shop. Um, I do a little sheet metal work. Um, I don't think that, that I am a sheet metal expert by any stretch of the imagination, but this is, uh, this is how I did it. And it's what I did. Thank you for, uh, for following along on this short video. Um, this one little quick hack here at the house. Um, I do appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone that, um, has subscribed as well. Thank you.